So for this uh, video tutorial, we're going to be creating this um, Halloween style animated cat's eyes, similar to this one. And it's uh, pretty easy to do, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is uh, just close this animation and start fresh. I'm also going to close the uh, animation tab. So I'm going to go ahead and click File, New, and we'll click OK. Now, now if your background happens to be white or anything else, you can just uh, press the G tool. And if you end up getting the gradient tool instead of the paint bucket tool, you can simply uh, hold down Shift and press G, and you can cycle between the two. And then once you get the paint bucket tool, make sure that black is selected in this area here, and click, and you can make the background black. Next, I'm going to click on the Add a New Layer icon. We'll create a new layer. And I'm going to hold, uh, grab the ellipse, elliptical marquee tool, and I'm going to uh, click and drag out the cat size. I'm going to start with one. So I'm going to make sure that white is the foreground color. And we'll click and drag. Let's say um, this, is a, this is pretty good. Next, we're going to need the gradient tool to make the gradient uh, color. Once again, I'm going to click on G, and actually let's click on Shift G to get the gradient tool. Oops. There we go. And I'm going to click on the gradient, and first thing I'm going to do is click on the foreground to background standard uh, preset color, and we'll work from here. I'm going to click and choose the first color. Now for the first color, I'm going to choose, uh, actually I actually have a preset color. The, um, the number is FFD335, sort of a yellowish uh, orangey color. We click OK. And we'll do the second gradient color now. And for this one, it'll be FF9401, much more of a darker orange sunburst color. We click OK. OK, one more time. Then I'm going to hold down Shift, and I have the gradient tool selected. I'm going to click and drag like so and control D to deselect and there's the beginnings of our cat's eyes. Next we're going to make the little uh, the, the pupil, the black pupil. I'm going to click and uh, select the elliptical marquee tool one more time and just let me zoom in here and I don't know if you can see this in the video but the cursor will uh, lock just at the edge and once that happens I'm going to click and drag out and we'll just move to the bottom of the other eye. And we're going to need a black color for this pupil, so I'm going to switch the colors. Once again, I'm going to click on Shift G to select the paint bucket tool. And we'll make this guy black. And Control D, and we'll see what we'll get here. The V for the move tool. And uh, that's pretty good, actually. What I should have done is put this on a separate layer. Let me click Control Z, and I'm going to click on the Add the New Layer, and let me just undo the selection. We'll do the, redo the selection one more time here. I'm going to make his eyes a bit bigger, about like so. Okay, perfect. And we'll click on G for the Paint Bucket tool, and Control D to select. Uh, it's looking a bit better. V for the move tool, or you can select it. Put this guy in the middle. Uh, that's pretty good. Not bad. Next, we're going to add a little uh, highlight. I'm going to click on the Add New Layer one more time, and the elliptical marquee tool for the last time, and I'm going to click and drag, circle about there. And I'm going to shift the color so that we have white in the foreground. G for the gradient for the uh, paint bucket tool. And control D to deselect. And I'm going to select the move tool. Move this guy using my arrows around, let's say, here. Next, we're going to filter blur, Gaussian blur. And let's see. I have it set to around 17.6 pixels. 
And let's let me just reduce it maybe a little bit here. Yeah, that's not bad. Click OK. And I'll probably just reduce the opacity just a bit. There we go. Perfect. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to merge these three uh, into the same layer. I'm going to click the first layer, shift click the last layer, and we'll right click and merge layers. So this is the left eye. I'm going to name this guy left eye and control, control J to duplicate and this will become our right eye and I'm going to hold on shift with the uh, move tool selected I'm going to click and drag stick them about here let's say perfect and one more time we're going to actually we'll just merge down directly there we go and I'm just going to click on Control R to grab a ruler, make sure that these are properly aligned, which they seem to be. Perfect. The next step is to create the blinking uh, eyes. So for that, I'm going to add a new blank layer. And I'm just going to Control Plus to zoom in here a few times. And hold on a spacebar to move. Next, I'm going to grab the magnetic lasso tool in order to make the cat's eyes blinking effect and I'm going to click and then let go of the mouse and then let the magnetic lasso tool add the selections next I'm going to click on Alt and I'm going to click my mouse and I'm just going to click and drag across like so and we'll make a selection Next, we're going to need to modify that selection slightly. Select, modify, and we'll expand it by uh, 5 pixels. And G for the paint bucket tool, and we're going to fill it with black. Control D to deselect. OK, perfect. Next, we want to click on the select tool. We're going to hold on Alt to make a copy of what we just did. Perfect. And one more time, I'm just going to click and drag our marker here. Make sure that's nice and even. It is. And so we're going to merge down. Oops. Merge down so that we have the top layer here on one, the, the top blinking eyes on one layer. I'm just going to click on Titleist Top. And Control J one more time. And we'll call this guy Bottom. And edit, transform, flip vertical, and this will be the bottom. Perfect. Okay, so I got my top layer and I got my bottom layers. I'm just going to move these guys out of the way here. Oops. I'm going to move them just till I don't see them anymore, like so. And the top layer. Like so. Next, we're going to grab our animation window. Window, animation. And make sure that you have the proper mode set up here for the animation panel. You want to make sure that you click on Convert to Frame Animation. Okay, so this is going to be the first frame of our animation. Uh, one last thing actually that I can do is just uh, go ahead and crop it out. And let's say we crop like so. Enter. And I'm going to click on uh, Duplicate Frame. And actually let me just change the delay here to zero. There we go. So for the second frame, we're going to start by moving the bottom and top lids. So we'll start with the bottom and make sure I have the uh, move tool selected. And let's just bring this guy up. Control plus, so I can see a bit better. Top, we'll bring him down. Okay, perfect. So next, we'll uh, have the first frame, the second frame highlighted. I'm going to click and. Uh, 
and hold down control on the second frame and we'll click on tween and I'll start off adding uh, around 10 frames click OK okay so we have the beginning of the animation next we're gonna work on the uh, opening of the eyes so I'm gonna click on the duplicate frame button and this guy we're gonna change to let's say a 0.5 second delay so that the idea is that the eyes, the cat eyes close there's a delay before they, a slight delay before they reopen and we'll control, oops sorry, we'll uh, duplicate the frame one more time, changes back to zero and now we'll do what we did before, we'll just click uh, control click the previous frame and we'll click on tween we'll add five frames or actually I'm sorry, let's just go back one step here let's actually open up the eyes so I'm going to make sure that the uh, move tool is selected and we'll open up the eyes I'm just nudging the, uh, the eyelids uh, using the uh, move uh, tools the arrow keys, sorry on my keyboard and we'll move them just out of range perfect okay now we'll go ahead and c c control click the previous frame and we'll click on tween add five frames, we'll leave all the, uh, the other parameters as is and we'll just want to control click and change this to no delay and we'll move to the last one and we'll add a good uh, let's say, uh, we'll see how one second looks like okay and so we'll go back and make sure that this is set to forever and we'll click play and see what it gives us and that's actually exactly what we want. The eyes um, close slower, just a bit slower than when they open. And there's a slight delay in between and in the end. Just simulated a little reality. And the only thing that's left to do is to save this file as a GIF.